Hi, my name is Joy Lara and I'm a proud Wiradjuri and Gamilaroi girl. I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we stand and one of the 29 clans of the Eora Nation which is bordered by the Hawkesbury River to the north, the Nepean River to the west and the Georges River to the south. I would also like to pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Well, a very big welcome to all of our mums, dads, uncles, pops, nans, aunties, uh, to the NAIDOC uh, presentation for 2020. As you know, this year's theme is Always Was, Always Will Be. And unfortunately, due to the COVID restrictions, we're unable to have everybody come into our cathedral as we normally do. However, we've, be, we've been practicing quite regularly. Uh, a couple of items for you for uh, your viewing and we hope that you really enjoy the preceding 30 minutes. We do look forward to having everybody back again soon and we're uh, certainly hoping that 2021 we'll be able to have a lovely morning tea and have everybody back together again. But in the meantime, please enjoy this year's theme of always was, always will be. All the best. I give you my blessing for your celebrations to take place on your nation. If the children want that, well, they've got it. Well, welcome to our Sax community and indeed to our Gawara community uh, for NADOC Week 2020. The theme this year is Always Was, Always Will Be. And that, of course, picks up the ancient and ongoing ownership of land by our Indigenous people. The theme is particularly apt this year in the 250th anniversary of the landing of Captain James Cook, a controversial landing where he took possession of all of Australia on behalf of the King of England, not acknowledging that Indigenous people had been here for tens of thousands of years. These days Australia is much more receptive to issues of Indigenous land rights. There have been noteworthy legal cases such as Mabo and Wick, which have established Indigenous ownership of land. And indeed here at Saks we're very aware that George Street as it now stands was before the arrival of the first fleet a track used by the Gadigal people as they walked down to the harbour. The Gadigal people being a sea people and the motive of Gawara being the whale as seen in the wonderful artwork behind me. So NADOC Week gives us a chance to sit with our Aboriginal brothers and sisters and celebrate their ownership of the land and acknowledge their custodianship and look to co-work across all ethnicities for an inclusive Australia where race and skin colour make no difference. Indeed, Gawara aims to close those gaps, educational, social and otherwise. So thank you for being here virtually in NADOC week. We can't have, because of COVID restrictions, an assembly in terms of our usual gathering, but we can still celebrate and I invite you to do that through the week. Thank you. Always was, always will be means to me that my family has always been Aboriginal and always will be Aboriginal. Always was and always will be means to me being proud to be Aboriginal, being respectful, remembering ancestors and also keeping traditions alive. Always was, always will be means to me that I am a proud Tiwi Arabana body and Jabba Jabba boy and I always will be. 
Hi, my name is Julia and always was, always will be means to me to teach other people about our culture and that we will always be First Nations people. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josh and I'm a proud Wiradjuri boy. Always was and always will be means to me is that this land will always be and forever be Aboriginal land. I think always was, always will be means that or means Aboriginal land rights and how the Aboriginal people have belonged to the land and the land is belonging to them and that it always has even since the British settlers came. And the, the British settlers, when they came, they said they claimed land when they just conquered Australia and they got rid of over half of the Australian native cultures and all their traditions and not many people well, close to zero people would speak those nations because they have been wiped out. But what it means to me, well, yeah, Aboriginal land rights and what the land means to the Aboriginal people. Hello everybody and I just pray that the Lord be with you today and during this week here as we celebrate and commemorate NADOC week. NADOC stands for National Aboriginal and Islander Observance Day Committee, NADOC. And it was started by a very dear Aboriginal elder who I admire and his name is William Cooper and he wrote to the churches and asked them if back in back in the 1930s if they would give some recognition to aboriginal people on an aboriginal sunday and the churches responded to his request and that's how aboriginal sunday started in the churches throughout the country and nadoc came out of that particular movement way back in the 1930s and his dream was that the churches would recognise Aboriginal people on the first Sunday before the 26th of January so that we were acknowledged and respected appropriately. It's now transformed itself into something that is much more bigger and longer and we now commemorate that during a whole week. It's usually in July, some, some celebrate it in September, we're doing it this year in November. But I just want to say from personally that for me, NADOC week or Aboriginal day is every day. 
we live out this particular life and existence on this particular country in that particular way. I'm very proud of my a Aboriginal heritage. I'm from the Cubby Cubby people on my father's side, which is in southeast Queensland around the Glasshouse Mountains area. On my mother's side, I'm Gurang Gurang, which is around the Bundaberg north, around that area there. I was born on my mother's country there. I was born in Bundaberg itself. And so that I, I'm a Gurang Gurang person as well as a Cubby Cubby person on both my mother and my father's side. And I also have heritage back to Ambram Island in Vanuatu because my grandfather, my father's father, was forcibly, move, forcibly removed from that country and brought into Queensland to help build the sugar industry and those kind of other industries there that needed some slave labour. And so that's my heritage and that's what gives me pride. And I know if I was to come back into this life again in some future time, I'd love to be an Aboriginal again because I enjoy being who I am and what I am. And uh, that's what NADOC week brings into my spirit is this opportunity to once again put up my chest, and hold up my head high, show my pride as to who I am and uh, who I represent and where I come from. This is such an important opportunity for all of us to come together and to celebrate this in unique in culture that we have here that's been here for over 50 to 60 thousand years for millennia and it's one of the oldest living cultures that we can all celebrate together and i just want to also say that uh, there is a biblical reference that i love reading to myself and letting other people know about that helps me to understand how our father in heaven has been involved in the development of Aboriginal people since time immemorial. And it's found in the book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 26. It says these words, And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God, and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. And so even our scriptures tell us that God has been involved with Aboriginal people since time immemorial. He didn't get off the boat in 1778. He was already here. And we can recognize his incredible gift to all the Aboriginal nation groups, to my Kabi Kabi ancestors and my Gurang Gurang ancestors, to the Gadigal ancestors, to the Eora ancestors, to all of those ancestors. Uh, we celebrate NADOC Day because it will always was and it will always be the traditional and custodian lands of the Aboriginal nations of this country. So for all of us here at St Andrews, Gawara and St Andrews, to all of you students and young people, and to every classroom and through all the teachers and all the staff, I'm going to pray and believe that you are going to have one of the best NADOC weeks ever. And remember, you all can say, always was, always will be. Aboriginal land. Thank you. Once a gory saw a stranger, so he went to a hill and climbed it. The gory saw that other one coming. Well, who's that coming? I've never seen such a man before. What's going on? Who's that coming? He asked this and kept looking, and then he came closer, keeping the stranger in sight. 
Gee, well now he's shining like the sun. The gory skirted round and ran back down to camp. There he told everyone. I've just seen this strange, very different looking gory. Handsome he was. He became just like the sun. You know when you see the sun coming out? Well, that's what he was turned into. Where was he? He went that way. He went to the sea down in the east. Quickly the Guri took the young fellows a bit uphill. They kept going following the stranger and almost caught him. Turn to water, he said. He cut a canoe and crossed the river he had now made. Then some men swam across. Across they swam. But Father Bulligan said, Let their tongues be silent straight away. Let these here immediately talk in Bunjalung. Now talk in Bunjalung for the first time. However, some people followed him across, so he made them all different by telling them, as each group crossed a river that he had made. Now you will be the Bunjalung and you the Yagir. So did Bolagan make it happen. Kambalamam, he told them. Well, then they chased him. They kept following him all the way here to Nembaka. Across the rivers went the young men, along the beach and off onto the mountains, but failed to catch him. They approached him again and almost caught the father here at Nambaka. Then he put another river down and cut another canoe to cross it. Then they again kept following, so he named them. All you there will speak Gumbangia, Dangati, Namba, you people of the Yarupini. That's what the father said, so he left them then, the Namba and the Dangati people. Yari Yarang Jalamgu Jalambu Jaga Wanding Julum Nwangage Guladu Yabanage Galang Waru Yaban Biage Naja Nwang Virigan Nigar Jalambu Jarang People land law ox Miami she can bless us with mind body spirit.